Hello everyone, welcome back to another Astros franchise episode. Today we'll be starting off this three game series against the Braves. Let's go ahead and get into it. We've got Rikidi pitching, he's 1-0. And we'll just go with the gray road uniform. Rikidi starting. Everybody, everybody looks good energy wise. And if you don't mind, please leave a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. And let's go ahead and get this series started. And also, when you start getting some wins. The wind of the pitch. And first off, Ray one. Morton certainly has electric stuff. Considered by many to be a strikeout pitcher, he might not be at the top level in that category. I mean, I'll take it. That's, that's not a bad pitch to take, right? Of course. Of course it's an out. All right, Brantley. Right, right to the first baseman. Okay. Here's Corey Lee. Corey Lee. Who's Corey Lee in for? Oh yeah, Jordan is hurt. I'm forgot about that. Well, I need to figure out those rotation, rotations because I'm not keeping Corey Lee and at third. That's for sure. That is for sure. I am not keeping him at the top of the order. That's down and in. What was that early? Late. Okay, I should have needed that. That's through there for a strike. Okay, okay, okay. Was One, two. He was a third round pick. Their first round pick that two, year two. was Jeff Brancourt. Their second round pick that year was Brian McCann. Pitch full count. And it's a full count. And ended up winning a World Series with Brian McCann in 2017, but they were wearing Astros uniforms. And that is an out. And they get out to Bay for the out. That is it. The third baseman, number two. Here's Alex Bregman. Bregman is on 11 game hitting streak. It's good to know. Good to know. Not really though, because usually when I know they're on the hit streak, they end up losing their hit streak. So, we'll see. In 2015, he wears that number on his back, number two, and Singy. He was a big Derek Jeter fan growing up. Since it's a first. I mean, Bregman, there's no way you're running full speed. This dude took forever to throw the ball. Shortstop at the play. Jeremy Payne. Jeremy. Swung on, belted. Does that have enough? It might. It does. First hit of the game is a home run by Pena. Now we got Abreu. We'll say Abreu up to hit. Ball one, no strikes. Right down the middle, miss on base. That keeps the inning going. Back to back base hits. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now it's going to be Chaz McCormick. That okay. Okay. Got an 0 1 to Chaz. Oh, two. No doubt. Oh, two. Really thought that one was going to be a ball. Way too early on that. Super early. Way too early again. All right. Well, we got to run in. 
back. Three. Three. Back at Truist Park. All right, Maldonado leading off the top of the third. Astros, Martin Maldonado. That is going to be an out. That's fine. He's got it. And there's one down. When you're playing franchise mode, do the overalls of the players progress or do they just stay the same the whole time? I want to say I'm pretty sure they progress, but I can't remember. Like I'm pretty sure I just saw earlier that Bregman's contact is like a 72 instead of a 71. It's like, how much does it actually progress? Or is it just like that, like tiny changes here and there? Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And we get a double with Tucker. All right. That'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Brandon. In the box here, no. lets that one go for a ball. Go for one so far. Brantley, multi-time all-star, batting second in today's lineup, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. That's a ball, bro. Come on. In for a strike. You know, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So Can I go home? I'm risking it. I'm risking it. Come on, Tucker. Come on. That two zero. It's two nothing. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. He just shot it through the infield. Next to hit. That's out to center field. Corey Lee with the out. All right. Think how two phase next up. Here's the former MVP Jose Altuve. Rounded out his first time up. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing to walk. One of the skill sets Altuve brings to the table, he is a notorious bad ball hitter. But whether it's in the zone or out of the zone, since he debuted in 2011, no player has more hits in the majors than Jose Altuve. 0-2 count. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings and misses. Oh, I got it. All right, 2-0 now. <laughs> Which is better than nothing, you know? 2 0. And welcome back. Start Top of the fourth. Bregman leading off. Morton back to work. Swings and fouls one off. Late on that one down the middle. Kind of sucks, but. That's alright. Because we're going to perfect that one. Bregman sends it out, and they add a run. It's 3 nothing. Third home run, 423 feet. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the back's been... Couldn't go back to back. That's going to be the first out here. The first. That's fine. First out in the top of the fourth. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work with the next hitter, and a tough one at that. In the air, right field. Okay, two outs. That takes care of a brave. And there are two down. It's a little drop and drive on that swing. Backside collapsed just a little bit. Trying to put the ball in the air. This weather is uh, very confusing because it was all like foggy like before. And then it went to being clear. And now it's foggy again. Astros not your run of the solo homer. Back here in Atlanta. And let's go ahead and. Get through that inning. Pretty good. Pretty good. Go to the top, of the fifth. top of the fifth. Maldonado is leading off. There's a strike. Well, these Astros doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. 
Man. Good timing, but weak contact. That sucks. Pulls it in, and there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. A one to Tucker. Come on. We got this. Comes no, we don't. Oh, oh, two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up at the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Why? Why? I, it was already a ball. It was already like clearly outside the zone. And I still swung at it. One for two. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Bangs off the wall. Oh, he's gonna be out at second. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I knew it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Truest Park started the six. John Shelby with Chris Singleton and leading off Corey Lee. And that one foul. All one. Lee in his rookie season, 24 years old, a former first round pick back in 2019. That misses oh, two. The soul, and that's ball one. That one two one. Two and one now. Swing and a come on, come on, come on, foul. And he picks it up. All right, two, two. The pitch. Full count. Caught him looking Don't know what I was looking at, but. Clearly looking out. <sighs> this throws me. I don't know why. Right down the middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. I don't know why that pitch throws me. I don't understand. Right to the left fielder. That fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way bad. In the air to left center. That's gonna be out, right? Of course. And makes All right, middle of the six. Still got the lead. Thankfully. Here comes the new arm for the Braves. All right, they got a new pitcher in. I'm not that committed to putting a new pitcher in, but we're going to warm up some people to help us get to that point. That's the third. Throw on to Olsen. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. Jose Abreu up next for the Astros. And first off, oh Rangers man, if I wasn't so early. Colin McHugh from 2017 to 2022, the five years that he played, every team he played on won 100 games. Astros from 17 through 19, the Rays in 21, and the Braves in 22. What was that? In the dirt, throw to first, in time for the second. Got to be better. Got to be better than that. Got to be better than that. For Houston, Chaz McCormick. As I proceed to do pretty much the same thing. All right. Liner picked on the hop. All right, it's fine. That's fine. Middle of the seven. Three zero. Okay, I'm like 90% sure I'm going to replace Urquidy, but I just want to see what his energy and pitches are at before I switch him out. Another good timing, but weak contact from Maldonado. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Oh, 
Little chopper rolls foul. All one to Tucker. It's one for three. See if we can make it two for four. One down, base is empty. Swings through that. And it's looking more like a one for four right now, but we got this. Brian Snicker. And I don't got this. I heat too much on that one. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And that, and that will be out number three. Middle of the eighth. Let's see here, Katie. 82 pitches. I mean, he's still got some energy, too. Man. All right. All right, all right. I knew it was a dumb decision. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That's fine, though. That's definitely fine. It's okay. It is okay. You know? It happens sometimes. It definitely happens sometimes. And that's okay. Thankfully, we didn't give up the lead. That's the important part, right? The pitch. Lee, now the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. In the air, left side. Okay, first out. So we're in second place in the wild card standings. I'll take it. Whatever way we can get into the playoffs, I will take it. That clips the corner. Jimenez, a former All Star, 28 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. That one upstairs. Puerto Rico one, doesn't one. just produce baseball talent, it produces Hall of Fame talent from Roberto Clemente to Pudge Rodriguez. The pitch. And a count one and two. And that is not gone. Oh, well, that's a double. Take a double. A double is better than nothing. Is that gone? There's a swing and a drive. To the warning track makes the catch. Ooh, okay. And he got the third safely with two balls. That was a little scary there. Up next for the Astros. He's already homered here in this one. Well, no. Come on, Pena. Well, is that one missed below the knees? Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. In the air, right? That's gonna be an out, but that's fine. And Acuna able to make the grab. So no run. So here comes Ryan Presley to the mound. All right. Oh, Presley gets the save, so that works. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract him. Player the game is Rikidi. Excellent job. I'll give him that. We did do pretty good. Presley gets his third save, and we get a win to start off the series, which I don't know. If I've done that so far, but you know, Toronto, we lost the first game. Texas, we lost the first game. I guess Pittsburgh, we won. But for the most part, not doing that good. 
But a win here does help. It's advanced day. Yes, finally, he's back. All right. Who's this? Uh, double A. Still four games behind the Rangers. Well, I guess the Angels. But that's, no? Yeah, behind Angels. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. And have a great day.